In the metal squad today, taking a look at the August gold futures contract, which had a bit of a risk recovery later in the session. We were down 1.42% at 1826.50 in that August contract. That's versus yesterday's settlement of 1842.80. But then mid to late day, we turned up a little bit of a flight to safety, flight to quality bid going there. And we ended up on the highs at 1875.90, up 1.25%, and finishing the day much nearer to the highs than to the lows, just off of those highs, as a matter of fact. Now, the CPI data was part of the reason that Gold got pressured early in the morning. Headline year-over-year -year CPI came out at 8.6%, highest in 40 years, fueling much more aggressive rate hike talk. We already have 50 basis points baked in for next week's Fed meeting, but there started to be talk amongst analysts and traders that they were, they were going to have to get even more aggressive than the 50 basis point rate hike schedule they're on. No indication of that yet from any Fed speakers of any sort. But those strong CPI's numbers, which again, beat on headline, beat on year over year core, beat on month over month headline, beat on month over month core, fueled that kind of speculation, which pushed gold lower because normally, historically, typically, higher yields points to lower gold. And we did have a yields jump today. We had the two year jump 21 basis points after the CPI with the five year jump 19 basis point, the 10 year jump 13 basis points and the 30 year jump five basis points from two years on out, we're above 3% on the US yield curve right now. So that's a pretty aggressive move. And earlier in the day, it did mean lower gold prices, but that flight to safety that came in later in the session pumped gold up to move it off of those lows and up towards the highs of the day, which is basically where it closed.